you know, sometimes I know exactly how a review is going to go and how it probably will be received. This one, I have no idea. A brave Scottish general named Macbeth receives a prophecy from a trio of witches that one day he will become king of Scotland. Consumed by ambition and spurred to action by his wife, Macbeth descends into bloody madness. The movie stars Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand, Alex Hassel, Bertie Carvel, Corey Hawkins, Harry Melling, and Brendan Gleeson. So look, this is the this is the story of Macbeth, basically. It's 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 Shakespeare. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, and it's a classic. I mean, it's a classic story, it's a great story. Not my favorite Shakespeare story, but it's still a great story. So this was written for the screen and directed by Joel Cohen. So what exactly did they all bring to the table here? Now the movie is available to watch on Apple TV Plus right now in 4x3 ratio and in black and white, which looks like this. And I gotta say, I, I really didn't feel like it added anything to it. I mean, does this does this make it look any different? Does this look make my reviews look Now I've been critical uh, about that sort of uh thing in the past. Um I just in a lot of movies it just doesn't make much sense to do 4/3 at least in my opinion. But, you know what? You you got to give you got to give them credit. They went all the way. They said this is what we're going to do. We're going to be you know make stark black and white images, you know, and we're going to have uh minimal set design. It's almost um it's almost like this minimalist graphic, you know, sort of idea, you know, that you see in in many things, but I just I just didn't understand. Now, look, when you're doing Shakespeare, you're not changing anything. Right, you you may be you may be taking away you know you you know some of those plays were four hours long. You're not in most cases you're not going to do the whole play, so you're usually taking out, but you're never adding anything in. You're not adding dialogue. You're not you know what I mean. You you don't you don't change Shakespeare. You know Shakespeare is not. I mean sure I mean you add some of it is open to interpretation and all that sort of thing, but for the most part you're leaving things alone. So what does that leave? That leaves the acting. So that's why these things have been, you know, these plays have, have lived for hundreds of years, right? They're, they're, it's basically a, well, it's a stage for acting, right? So when you say we're going to take this play, we're going to take this dialogue, we're going to let actors play these parts, and we're going to move them into a movie, right? We're going to move this whole thing that's a play, we're going to move it into a movie, you know, we're going to make a movie about it. That's your chance to go to go crazy, right? I don't understand the, the idea that we're going to shoot this on a soundstage and we're going to have CG and, and actual green screens and all that sort of thing so we can add things later. But it's all very minimalist and, I gotta say, a little boring. This play has been performed... I mean, probably thousands of times by this point, right? And we've seen many different variations of this same story in movie format, right? There's uh, 2015, there's one where Michael Fassbender plays Macbeth. There's uh, the probably the one that, that I think of when I think of Macbeth is Roman Polanski's version of Macbeth from 1971. Very, very good. And I mean visually beautiful, right? It's a it's it's a it's a big production, right? And there's your scenery and 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 all that kind of thing. It's 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 a thing. And then uh, of course Orson Welles did a version. I mean, look, what I'm trying to say is all of these brought different things to the to the table. And what I'm saying is when I'm watching this one, yeah, of course I'm I'm taken in by the acting, but not much else. When I saw the trailer for the movie, I was kind of like, wow, this is an interesting uh I, I guess an interesting take on 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 a trailer, right? To make it black and white in four or three. I didn't realize the whole movie was going to be shot that way. I hadn't looked into the making of this or anything like that. I just watched the movie and I, I was sitting there looking at it when the movie's playing and I couldn't help but think of the classic uh, Saturday Night Live skit with Phil Hartman and Dana Carvey and Jan Hooks um, 
called Compulsion. I don't know if anybody's seen this, but but I mean, well, it's it's this. Yeah, it's hard not to not to think of that. If you've seen that, it I just don't understand. It feels like the obsession commercials, really, because that's what the compulsion ad was, right? Or the compulsion, you know, skit. It was, it was a, it was a play on the, on the, on the Calvin Klein obsession ads in the eighties. I, I just, I guess what I'm saying is, is that the look of the movie and all that didn't, didn't really work for me. So I guess what it comes down to is, why are you watching this movie? You know, if you, if you're someone that's in school. And you're watching it. I mean, yeah, you can, you can, you can watch the thing. Are you watching it because you're interested in this, this, or this new story you've never heard of, Macbeth? I, I don't know. I, I'd probably try to seek out the 1971 Roman Polanski film if you could, if you, if you were gonna watch Macbeth. That's just my opinion, but I really, really appreciate the the look and feel of that movie. Um, and, and, and I haven't seen the Michael Fassbender one, so maybe that one's really good too, but yeah, I just, I can't, I can't see someone watching this and going, oh yeah, I was just, I was blown away by it. I mean, unless you're just blown away by the acting, in which case, I mean, I can't fault that. I can't fault the acting, right? I just can't. So I guess if that's why you're watching it is because I want to see these amazing actors be amazing actors, then by all means, there's, you're not going to be disappointed. They're amazing in those roles and they're fantastic. I just think it's, I just think the movie is weird and not my thing. I can't give this a score. Can I, can I give this a score? For me personally, I feel like this is like a 2.5 right? It's like, I've seen better versions of Big Beth. I, I just have. The, there's versions that I think are, are, are better produced and, and different. So yeah, I, I guess, uh, for those of you who, who are just really in it for the acting, then I'd probably say what, like a 3.75. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's cr these, these, these actors are amazing. But that's not what I'm reviewing. I'm reviewing the whole thing, and it's it's hard for me to give it higher than like a 2.5. So I feel like if I was on stage right now, I feel like people might be throwing tomatoes at me or small animals or whatever. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of curious what you think. Did you see The Tragedy of Macbeth, and what do you think about it? Um, is, is there anything else on Apple TV Plus I should be watching? Because this is the first thing I've ever watched, and I've had it for like over a year. Um, so yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I'm really curious what people think about this. Um, maybe I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm way off, <laughs> but let me know down below and we'll talk about it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Now the movie is a bit, is available. Wow. Now the, now the movie is available right now for you to watch on Apple TV plus in 4.3 and in black and white, which looks like this. It didn't work. 